Hey guys, Vlogmas Day 24. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve, you guys. So I should have had a live today. I'm sorry I don't because family comes first and all of that. So um, we're just spending some family time together uh, before I have to drop TJ off. And then, you know, we're going to do some stuff. I delayed very much in wrapping gifts, so I got some help from the elf on the shelf, but it's pretty funny to have a kid who doesn't believe in Santa, no longer believes in Santa, but likes the whole elf on the shelf concept. So let me explain how I got into it. I need to uh, whisper a little bit because he's around. I bought this little cup from Walmart. They had, uh, I guess it's, they're doing like a Black Santa series. So there was a little elf in a cup. And I was like, ooh, this is cool. I will buy it because, you know, the elf, you know, I have a little boy, a little brown boy. <laughs> so that that's why I bought it. And I thought, you know, I would just put it in his sock. It will be one of the, one of the things. No, did I manage for that to happen? No, 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 no. I didn't intend on having an elf on the shelf. He saw the cup as I was trying to put stuff away and he was like, mom, thank you for my elf on the shelf. And I was like, ooh, how did I get myself into that? And then he put the elf on a shelf and the next morning he's like, oh, what did the elf do? And I'm thinking, shoot, now I have to become an elf whisperer or hunter whatever, but me and the elf have been getting into just teeny weeny shenanigans, teeny weeny shenanigans, because I'm not all for the, you know, make a huge mess and, oh, the elf did it. Who's going to clean that up? Mm -mm, not this gal. So, okay. I am dressed in my reindeer suit. <laughs> yes, my little reindeer suit. It has a hood, but I washed my hair this morning. So, you know, that and... We're off to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Hey, y'all. I wanted to show you my ears. See? <laughs> my reindeer ears. I'm trying to fix them. It, do it doesn't stay up. I think there's a hack to get it to stay up. Let me look in the thing. But anyway, there's my reindeer look for today. <laughs> it's not going to be different tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, all right, I'll see you later. I wanted to go to the grocery store today. I don't know if I should brave it because Christmas Eve and ooh, I do need to go because I need to get the um, I need to get the um, God, what's the name of the cake? There's a cake we get from Whole Foods. It's got fruit in it. My mom loves it. Uh, we need to get that. And, but first, I need to check and see if I have all the ingredients for my sweet cornbread. Yeah. And that's it. Peace out. Hello, hello. So, y'all, I wanted to do a flip through of my planner, my planner system for the end of 2023. This is actually going to be from June to December. I used about three planners during this time. I used this A5 EC planner. I tested out this day designer. I think it's a seven by nine. And I sort of tested this, this one. This is truly my 2023 plum paper planner, but I added the month of December to it. So let's get in here. Didn't do, didn't really do anything to this. I did that to the previous one, which is the January to June. Um, I don't think I did a flip through of this one, um, but it looks almost the same in terms of how the front, the front section is because I was moving from a, um, I was moving from should I just do a, a yearly or the years uh whatchamacallit the year flip for, for 
words. <laughs> ah, forget it. This video is supposed to be the June to December 2022 flip through. Let me know if you want to see the previous flip through. So this is my word of the year, resolute, and I just, um, and you'll see this in my 2023 move in to the next planner um, where I do a word cloud with my word of the year. It's just a nice thing to look at. Um, I don't know if I should start doing this every month though, but maybe I should actually start writing, you know, some of these words down to sort of sink it into memory. And then that's the month. This was the plan for July. Let's get the lighting fixed. Hold on a second. Did it work? I don't know. Uh, errands. I love this. Call it a dashboard page from, from Planner Kate. It just helps to organize this blank page. I didn't use it the entire time that I had this planner, but for the most part, I believe I did. It was it was just nice to organize the pages like this. So, you know, see a week without um, without decoration, just writing in and and planning. And there were times when I would use what else did I use if I wasn't using this? I think I would pre-plan in the plum paper, the A5 plum paper that I was testing. Um, but I, I didn't really do much with that one. So we've got that. Nothing here. Got some blank spaces. Oh, at this time, I think I was trying out, because this is what, July? I think at this time I was trying out, yes, I was trying out the compact vertical so you can sort of see where I missed the daily planner so yeah this was this this particular week is this week here so oh I mi I kind of I kind of miss this I, I, I actually kind of do it's interesting who knows maybe I might change my planner lineup or my choice for a planner lineup by you know the end of the who knows what so this is how August started. August, there was nothing in it. First week, second week, what was going on? And then by the second week, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. We have to prepare for school and we, you know, we have to figure out what we're doing. Okay. So I was still really into this compact vertical at the time. So that's what happened. And I was testing because as you guys know, I need a habit tracker on my weeks just I need a habit truck I need to see I need to see some habits so by this time I was transitioning back into the daily so this is the first week of school first week of school and then this is an also paper this is an also paper kit this one this was not a kit I was just like making things up right and some more stuff september we did some monthly planning uh, i like to do these little lists uh, so that i can sort of plan for what to do or money things to do with with money right just to keep it in my head this was part of a planner cake kit and i mix it with some happy planner stickers um, more Planner Kate, Planner Kate. I like to use her, uh, to-do boxes that come in the kits for my grocery list. It just helps to, you know, work on this blank page. And then, ooh, this is pretty. You guys, uh, you, so you saw this onesie thing that I was wearing, right? I mean, it's very cute. Kind of matches my skin. Um, but... <laughs> Man, it is a pain. It is a pain. You know, when you're just you're wearing it all day and you know, you gotta go to the bathroom and I'm this I'm this close. In fact, I think I'm gonna take it off after I film this video. Uh just so you know. This looked like a productive Sunday. And then Monday. This is just putting stickers together 
The stickers from Oso oh Paper. This one is from Valia and Tuma, who is over in Ukraine. Recycling out. Yeah, sometimes I just use post-it notes. I think I was planning on doing something here. It didn't quite work out. And that was September. I don't believe I was using this planner by September. Oh, looks like I tried, but not quite. I tried, but no cigar. See? And that was that. And then since then, there has been nothing. But it's only three months. So, that's September. We kind of went back and did some Happy Planner and Simply Gilded. October, got into it. Did that list thing again. Uh, this was an also paper kit. Early bedtime. Haha. <laughs> And then this is one of the weeks where I did not use a planner Kate thing. And as you see, I put my I like to put my to-do list against the spine of the book and events on that side. So that was a sick day there. Uh, just as you can see, no stickers at all. These, even though sometimes these can be quite I can be quite productive in these, it's not um it's not as aesthetically pleasing to look at, right? I was thinking of stickers and stuff here and planning on the different planners that I was going to get. You can see all the different ones. Yeah, the Laurel Denise, the Sprouted Planner. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I was trying to do something different here. I think I was trying to plot my study time, not sleep. It's supposed to be study time. And it just, I, I didn't keep up with it. So, there's more of that. I used some different pens, pre-planning. Here I used a Moxie Life um, kit. There's a page that Moxie Life has that has all this stuff. So I tried to use it um, to see how it would work in my A5, in this EC A5. And it kind of did. If you don't need to yeah, like see your events for the week or if you don't have a lot of events for the week so it'll be a waste of space to put that um, events thing on the side maybe consider this you can use this moxie life kit and put you know set out your goals and your reflections at the end of the week so i did i did all that and it actually worked um so some more planning and I think this was this was part of this kit. So I used a Moxie an A5 Moxie Life kit and some other random stickers from I think HP and Planner Kate to try and bring things uh together. These two are also from the same from the same kit. And yeah. In November, this is what November looks like. We're a little more productive in November. This was when I just want to have that for posterity right there it was the first time I took it <laughs> oh, so I have to take it again that's part of life it's part of life you move up and you, you move on you move up and you move on November I'm not I've not been using these pages I haven't been using these pages and I used to be pretty good in I, I think last year or so I was very consistent so I did that for September I used to be very consistent anyway and I don't think I did it in November either in uh, December either this I love this kit this is so pretty this is kit 350 from planner Kate I just yeah love it so what was I trying to do here? Trying to use mild liners. This was November. I think by this time I had gotten this day designer. Yeah, this is when I was testing out the day designer and I only use it for what, a month? So, Oh, I thought I used it for a month. Okay, so this was when I actually tested it. Tested it out the second weekend in November. 
this is what that looked like. This was very nice. Very nice. I like I like this planner a lot. But some of the things I miss in this planner is the fact that A, it's not a six month planner. B, at the end of the week, there is no brain dump or weekly prep page. And it's hard to do that because, you know, they're trying to keep page the page count low because of the weight of the planner. The planner is, is pretty heavy because the the cover itself is quite heavy and they have Saturday and Sunday sharing a page. So that's what that is. So I didn't go back to it for December. As you can see, I came back in to this so we've got some empty pages here because those pages were in um november and the other one did some planning there and then we have december and voila look at that just the whole this is this is real real planning stuff i just brain dumped in here i didn't want to do it somewhere else and yeah i quickly got back to my stickers. This is also a planner cape kit. Ooh, look at that. Isn't she cute? Some more sticker stuff. Habit tracking, as you can see. I was pretty good with tracking there. And then this is this week, my brain dump for this week. I didn't want to use the kit that I used here because I wanted to use it at the end of Christmas Day. So this is this week, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And I think while I'm here, I'm just going to, uh, yeah, let's, let's just finish out the planning, right, for the week. Let's finish out the planning. Oh, this will go all the way to the end. I should have moved this up a smidge. Let's see. Did I white it out? I did not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't white it out, so we can do this. Hmm. I still, hold on a second right there. I still will need to take this like right at the, there we go, hold on, hold on. Okay, now that will allow me to do this peacefully and carefully. I think it'll get all the way down to the end of the page, but that's fine as far as it doesn't cross. And next week, Kwanzaa starts on Monday. Do you celebrate Kwanzaa if you're African American? I didn't know about Kwanzaa until I moved to the United States. And Kwanzaa starts on the 26th and ends on, doesn't Kwanzaa end on the 1st? I think it ends on the 1st of January. Let me see. Yep, Kwanzaa ends on the 1st of January. So Kwanzaa ends on a Sunday. This planner ends on the 31st, which is a Saturday. So I'm just going to leave this like that because the planner ends unceremoniously on the 31st. It didn't even give us to the end of the week. But next week is, you know, it's also a slow week for me at least. Um, I'm not sure how many people have busy weeks the week after Christmas. A lot of people are off. I don't have that luxury at this time. By God, God willing, maybe next year I will be off. 
Because a guy, a girl has got to have some holidays, yo. Oh no, it's going to block Santa. What shall we do this week? Okay, I know what to do. We're going to use the stickers, y'all. We're going to put it on over here. How about that? Let's lift this up. Ah. I might have been a, a tad too ambitious here. So maybe I'll put the remaining stickers from this kit on this page and sort of pretty it up a little bit. So this is tomorrow. We have church. We have pickup. Um, I don't know what the elf is going to do. I need to figure out what the elf is going to do by tonight. And then we'll fig we'll do that in the morning. I need to have some also some time. Well, about this much time. That's that's going to be <sighs> First things first. This is the thing about being an adult, right? You know? This is the thing about being an adult. Your... Oh, this might actually move. I forgot that I... Uh, I'm going to go do that tonight. I have some baking to do. Baking. I still haven't gone to the store. I'm avoiding going to the store. <sighs> but that's about it. Thank you all so much for joining me for this flip through. Next week isn't going to be much. I don't know if I'm even going to um, do any plan with me related related things. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vlog for today. I will see you tomorrow.